So in this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of glossy see-through text. Uh, now someone requested this tutorial actually, and um, now they asked for two things. Now the first thing that they requested, I I am unable to recreate in GIMP because the original I made um, was in Photoshop. So I'm I apologize to that person who requested this tutorial. Um, but I will be showing you how to create this kind of hollow, glossy, see-through text um, effect. So go ahead and open up a new image. And first off, I'm going to have to say that this text effect does not work on a black or white image. So you're going, it has to be a colored image. So I just applied a very simple gradient. Then grab your text tool and um, I'm setting my uh, text color to black, but um, you can use whatever color you want, I guess. It doesn't really matter. And by the way, the font I'm using is called Tunish, which you can download at defont.com. Now you're going to need to download the script foo, and in case you're wondering how to, um, in the description, I'll tell you what folder to put the script foo into once you've downloaded it, and I will include a download link for the script foo. Um, now what you have to do is, once you've downloaded it and put it into the correct folder, it's very important, I know some of you probably will say that it doesn't work, but it will work, all you have to do is put in the correct folder. Um, it's pretty much like installing a brush, except you have to put it in a different folder. You put it in the script foo folder, I don't know. Um, so just click on script foo, uh, and then go to layer effects, bevel, and emboss. Now for style, put outer bevel. For depth, put 3. Direction up, size 1. Well, pretty much everything is on the default uh, settings, except for the size. The size is on 1. But if you'd like to get all these settings in, in case they're different for some reason, then pause the video and enter in all of these. I'll kind of give you some time, but I'd recommend pausing the video right now if you need to put all these settings in. So now you have this kind of see-through text, but we're going to make it glossy. So go ahead and out, uh, right click on your text layer that you just hid. It, uh, well, it doesn't matter if you hit it or not. Um, and then select uh, alpha to selection. It's all the way at the bottom. It's the third, second, no, the third to last one. So you can't see it right now, but it's all the way at the bottom when you right click on your text layer. And then make a new layer and get your rectangular selection tool and then down here on mode in this box make sure you press the third one across which is subtract from current selection then just select this lower portion of the text and now as you can tell it deleted that part of the selection get your gradient tool set your foreground as white and select the gradient FG to transparent should be the fourth one down then drag from the bottom up like that. And if you're uh, to get a straight line, just press control or your constrained line. Uh, now you can go ahead select none. And if you want, you can lower the opacity of this layer just a little. Um, I forgot to mention, I actually stopped the video before I could add this in. Forgot to mention uh, to make a drop shadow. So go to your text layer, your original text layer, so don't delete it. Um, and go to filters light and shadow, light and shadow, drop shadow, and enter in these settings. Well, the blur radius can depend, but offset X and offset Y should be on zero. Uh, you can adjust the opacity if you want. You can change the color if you'd like, uh, and then click OK. But now, as you can tell, since you hid your text layer, it looks kind of weird right now. Um, I guess it looks kind of cool, um, but this isn't really the effect we're going for. 
So right click on your text layer again and select alpha to selection again. And now go back to your drop shadow layer uh, and go to select, grow, and grow selection by one pixel. Now grab your eraser tool and just select a pretty big brush and just erase all of that that is inside the selection and go to select, none. And now you have this nice drop shadow. Uh, well, kind of. So I hope this tutorial was useful and I would like to thank Unbanned. YouTube account is youtube.com slash unbanned except for the band part, it's a four. Well, I'll just put a link on the screen right now. Um, I want to thank him for making my new intro, if you saw it in this video. Um, and he is helping me out with making a new site, which you will hear more of later. Uh, I'm not sure if it's really, maybe it might stay active, I hope. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I hope that people will visit it, and that's, that's it.